Hello, I'm Paul Weller and this is the soundtrack to my life. Uh, the first song I remember hearing was uh, Good Golly Miss Molly by Little Richard. My mum and dad had like an old record player, like a radiogram, right, which was like a, for those younger listeners, uh, was like a sort of piece of furniture almost, right? It was like a long drinks cabinet. And you used to lift the lid up and there's a record player inside it. And you could stack up singles on it as well. And then, uh, and they were quite young when they had me, both rock and roll generation. Both used to be out jiving and into rock and roll, went to see Bill Haley, Haley and all that stuff. So anyway, so that was the first music I ever really heard, you know, rock and roll. Chuck Berry, Little Richards, Elvis they were big on. But Good Golly Miss Molly and Little Richard probably is my favourite out of all that. The first song I fell in love with, almost definitely The Beatles, and probably She Loves You, right? Which is not my favourite Beatles song now, but when I was like five or whatever I was, it was then. And, uh, and that was the first time <clears throat> I saw the Beatles on TV. They played the 1963 Royal Command performance thing. Uh, and they played She Loves You on that. And that was the first time I fell in love with the Beatles, really. So right from that age, and, uh, and that's never stopped, you know. Uh, the first gig I went to was in uh, 1972, and I went to see Status Quo at uh, a place called the Guildford Civic Hall, which is where, kind of near where I live, where I come from. And uh, me and my mates, who were also in my band, or we were all in a band, not my band, a band, uh, so we were already kind of sort of trying to get a band together, you know, we'd been playing, rehearsing anyway. And uh, so that was the first live show I went to see, Status Quo, and then we were in the very back row upstairs, but the sound was so loud, because we weren't used to that kind of sound. We'd only had these little crappy record players to play records before, right? And even discos weren't like they are now. Uh, they're not even discos now. Uh, and. Uh, but just the sheer volume, man. We were just like this pin back at thing like this. And we, that was the kind of, um, the message we needed really. That's like, yeah, we're on the right path, this is it. And it was just the most exhilarating thing really to hear music at that level, that volume, you know. Well, I was been thinking about this question, what's the song I can no longer listen to? But it would probably have to be quite a few of my own songs, really. <laughs> There's very few songs I've sort of turned me back on, really, in my, over the course of time but I would find it very difficult to sit down and listen to any old albums of mine. Uh, they're kind of just things I did then, and that's where they stay for me, really. I mean, it's nice sometimes when I hear a, something unexpectedly on the radio, old song, whatever, and whatever from whatever era, that's always nice, because you hear it in a different context. But generally, I can't listen to my old records, really, but I, I don't know many artists who do, really. First album I ever bought was um, Sgt. Pepper, The Beatles, uh, which came out in 1967. But I, it took me probably a year to save up for it. So I bought it like a year later in 68. So it would have been about 10, I guess. Um, <clears throat> it took me a long time to save up for it. I had like a sort of, uh, I sold off all my toys. I had a bit of a sort of sale in my, in my bedroom and invited friends around. Uh, just to raise the funds to get it, and then I got a bit more money off my mum and dad. I think it was like, at the time, like 30 bob, right? Which is like, I don't know what that is in new money, £1.50? I don't know, something like that. Um, but I just thought it was amazing, man. You know, I mean, I loved the Beatles anyway, you know, but just to have, the, that was the first album I'd owned, and just to see the sleeve and the lyrics on the back and all that stuff and the cut out thing inside it, you know. So I just played the shit out of that for, for as long as I could, you know. The song that makes me want to dance is uh, uh, Sex Machine, James Brown. And I first heard that <coughs> in a, uh, there used to be a dance in the Woking Football Club on a Thursday night when we were all little skinheads, suedeheads. And uh, so I don't know when I heard that, probably in 1970, 71, something like that. Um, but it's the funkiest record I've ever ever heard, I think. And uh, yeah, again, you know, it's this sort of still stands the, the test of time, I think. Uh, well, it depends really. If, if I get buried, probably going underground. 
And if I get cremated funeral pyre, maybe. But who knows? But perhaps I won't have a funeral, you know? I might just evaporate. <laughs>